Uh, today's service is all about random acts of kindness, and I want to talk today all, not only about uh, nice things that people do for one another, but why in particular in uh, the Bible it is so important. Um, Jesus seems to really focus in, not only on the big things we do to help each other, but seems to have amazing importance on the little stuff. And I, I want to talk about that for a while, because sometimes looking at newspapers, we see the big things happening in our world, but we don't always realize. How even the little things we do to help one another out make a world of difference. So uh, we'll get to that. I'm going to start off with uh, now. Uh, what I'm going to ultimately do is these first two songs we sing at service. I'm going to change up every month. But so some of you know the song really, really well, and um, we will. Uh, some of you feel the song really, really well. But we so enjoy it for today because next month is July. We're going to switch that up a little bit. I was going to switch it up for today, but Cassie insisted on one more, especially with that uh, next song. This is the day. With spirit and feeling, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. Let us rejoice. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad.
There is a name I love 
things you do, not only do they notice, God notices. And even if you think it's unimportant, God thinks it's very important. Jesus, so let's just put it, you thought what you were doing was unimportant and small, but you were doing it to me. And I noticed that. So I want to talk to you today a little bit about simple little things that went a long way inside of you that you may not even know about. I um, I went to work the other day and I was really amazed. I think you might be surprised at that. So I bumped into a friend of mine there and he had that, he's usually a very happy person. You know, he's one of those, and he turned around from when he was working today and he just looked kind of, kind of grumpy, grumpier than usual. I mean, some people are grumpy all the time, you know, those sorts of people. But this guy, almost never grumpy. And so I went down and chatted with him a little bit, told him a joke or two, something like that. He pulled me aside later, a couple hours later in the day. You know what? I've just been having one of the worst days I can remember, and I can't tell you how much you pulling me aside and making me laugh helped out. Now, at the time, I didn't think it was anything. But for whatever reason, because of the circumstances of events, it meant a lot to him. And I think I've been on the other side of that. Some things that people have done to me, they didn't think was worth anything in terms of kindness, really touched me and moved me. There's a little church, there's a little church back in Connecticut, northwest corner of Connecticut. Um, so if you're still outside of, uh, you're only two hours away from New York City, but you're still in the country. And there's a little church in a place called Gaylordsville, Connecticut. It's not even really a town. It was just a it's sort of a town because it had a general store and a couple other things. And uh, But there was a church there, a real small one. And I was a, I know you might find this hard to believe, I was a, when I was young, like elementary school, super shy kid. Couldn't, couldn't find the courage to talk to anyone. I was, I was a priest and only child, and it was really difficult for me to go to school, make friends and stuff like that. But this church, every time I went there, was happy to see me. And they encouraged me to do things like sing in church, and they encouraged me to give sermons and stuff like that. They had a service once a year for kids. And I was the only kid whom they could talk into giving the sermon for. People loved it when I did it, and I don't know if I was any good. It didn't matter. They treated me like what I'd done was special. And it was a lesson that I, I never forgot. Little things. We, 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 we see all, all day, we, we, you know, newspapers and internet and television, we, we, we see big people doing big things. We talk about politics and on the national level and all that good stuff. But Sometimes the little stuff we do for one another makes a world of difference in our lives. And so I want to talk to you while I have some time. <clears throat> talk to me about something small that someone did for you. But it made a world of difference in your mind. Or it just really touched you. I, I joked with the kids about cleaning up poop. But little things mean a lot. What has someone done for you? This may have seemed a little, but... Lo and behold, it turned out to be a lot when you thought about it. Something that seems small at the time. Darn it! When you got to thinking about it, it meant a lot. I'll give you two. Yeah, what do you think of that? Well, we have a soap dispenser on our kitchen sink. And because I have short arms, it's really hard for me to get under there and change it out and fill it. And without even asking, that husband of mine filled it up and suddenly it's got soap in it again. And, and you know, we have, it meant something that he did it without me harassing <laughs> <laughs> Richard, which 
I, I, I was so tempted to ask you before when I was talking about favorite scripture verses. If I was to come to you out of nowhere, Richard, and say, what's your favorite Bible verse? What would you tell me? Uh, probably Psalms 105. Your, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Nice one. Good. I, he's the only one I know who would come up with an answer like that real quick. He's good that way. So, Richard, as long as I got you on the... As long as I'm talking to you here and communicating and all that, something small, quote unquote, and I use small in quotes because it doesn't feel small to us, that someone did to help you out with something that may not seem like much to them, but ah, come to think of it, touch your heart. My wife made me breakfast this morning. Nice. What did, what did your wife make for you this morning? I'm kind of curious. She, she made me a, a egg mix sandwich. Oh, a homemade egg mix sandwich. Oh, nice. See, that's a, that is sweet. Excellent. A little thing. A good start to the day. Hi, oh, yeah. Um, no, go there. Okay, let me. Okay. Um, so I'm part of a Facebook group called Wine Down Sisterhood. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you guys feel about alcohol, but I enjoy it. We meet in a bar. We're pretty open to it. Thank you. 
seemed you did it to me, and I remember. Now, some of you know this last song really, really well, so stand up and let's sing it out big and proud.